What's up guys, uh, Minus the Beard here with a Blu-ray update. Um, but first I want to give a shout out and say thanks to uh, WrestleManiac1130. He gave me a shout out in his shout out video um, just a few days ago. And I went from like 20 something subscribers to like 50 in like two days, which is crazy. Um, I'm sure you all are subscribed to him, but just a real genuine guy. Hilarious. Probably one of the most entertaining guys in the YouTube community or the movie community on YouTube. Um, yeah, but just a great guy, and I just wanted to say uh, thanks, and, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, also got my uh, Bassmasters hat on for uh, another YouTuber, uh, Notorious7, one of my favorite guys on here. Um, I know he just went on a big fishing trip. Um, if you're ever in South Carolina and want to catch some catfish, look me up. Um, but, yeah, let me go ahead and get started with this update, because I've got quite a few things. Um, I went to Best Buy this week. And picked up first thing I went to Best Buy to pick up one thing in particular and that's workaholic season three if you're not watching this I don't know what's wrong with you get out and do it because it's amazing the easily the funniest show on television right now um, I picked up the night at the museum collection so I mean both movies for $9.99 which is a great deal I think it said the well the original price tag was $34.99 so this is a great deal going on also picked up Jerry Maguire. Great movie. Um, when I was a kid, I used to want to work in a front office of a like a baseball team, football team. Didn't really matter to me. I just want to be a GM. Um, so I loved this movie growing up. And then this is a blind buy, American Mary. Um, looks interesting. I read something about it somewhere. Um, so I was familiar with the title, and then so when I saw this, it was twelve ninety nine, and I used a reward zone coupon, so I ended up paying seven ninety nine. So not bad for a blind buy. <coughs> um, I also got from Amazon uh, with that Criterion deal going on. I picked up, finally picked up Days and Confused. Just a great movie, almost a perfect movie. <coughs> And also picked up On the Waterfront, which I showed in my uh, contest video for JX Rico. Um, my second favorite movie of all time. One of the greatest film noirs ever made. <clears throat> then, let's see, I went to Walmart and I picked up Total Recall, the mind bending edition. Shout out to uh, Jason L slash Movie Man X01 for the intel on the uh, mind bending edition. <sighs> then I also picked up Predator um, and this one I basically picked up so that I could pull a slippity doodah and I just needed a movie for that and at the end of the video um, I'll show you my slippity doodah technique <clears throat> and then with the NBA Finals going on I've just been in like a real like basketball mood and, uh, and I also bought Do the Right Thing last week so I've been in a Spike Lee mood so I had to pick up He Got Game. Just a great movie. One of my favorite uh, Spike Lee flicks. Um, this was five bucks at Walmart. And I used to own it when I had like a big DVD collection, but I got rid of them years ago. So I had to pick this up so I could watch it this week. Um, I've got some stuff on eBay. I picked up In Bruges. Great movie. Hilarious. Um... It's only like six dollars, so I had to pick it up. Then I picked up this classic, uh, The French Connection. Love this movie. Um, this is the two disc version, which is pretty expensive on Amazon. I actually got this on eBay for ten dollars, though. And then I picked up the Gettysburg Digi Book. Um, I've never seen this, but I've bought the Gods and Generals Digibook at um, a record store and it was like $10 so I kind of wanted this one to go with it. Then I went to an FYE in uh, Charlotte last week and I picked up Let Me In which I actually haven't seen. I've seen the original um, and this one had the cool slip cover so I snatched this up. Also picked up Breaking Bad Season 3. And these were, um, they had a deal where it was a buy two use, get the third for a dollar. 
So I picked up Breaking Bad Season 3. Um, I've seen all of the uh, episodes, but I don't own all of them. And so I kind of just been picking them up whenever I find like a really good deal on them. And this was $10. And then I also picked up, the third thing in that deal was the, uh, I picked up Moneyball. And this is the three disc version, which comes in a pretty thick case. Um, love this movie. Great, great movie. Great book also, if you haven't read the book. <clears throat> also in Charlotte, um, I went to my first, uh, CD warehouse. We don't have one where I live, um, and I know I hear a lot of you guys talking about them. And so we went to a grocery store. They're actually a Korean grocery store because I'm half Vietnamese. I know I don't look at you. I just look like a big white dude, but, um, so we go up there to a uh, grocery shop sometimes, and, uh, at, and right next to the Korean grocery store, there was a CD warehouse. And it was really small, but um, I found the Amadeus Digibook, which is great looking. And it was only um, twelve ninety nine, I believe. So that's a great deal on that. <clears throat> and then this one I was super excited about. I found the Monster Squad, the uh, 20th Anniversary Edition. Love this movie. Probably one of my favorite movies growing up. This is basically like the, uh, the Goonies of horror movies. Fantastic, and it's um, out of print, and I paid seven ninety nine for it. <clears throat> and then today, um, I live like two miles from a family video, but I almost never go in there. But they had a sign on their marquee today that said like Blu-ray clearance blowout, and like when you walk in, they actually have like an inflatable pool. And just Blu-rays just sitting in there. And they're all uh, 2 for $11. So I dug through there for a little while. And I picked up Savages. And it just only has the Blu-ray disc. But that's really all I need. And I'll probably pull a slip doo dot to get the slip cover for this. <coughs> um, VHS. A lot of people really like this. I thought it was okay. Um, it's a decent horror anthology. <coughs> 50-50, which I haven't seen, but I, I've heard everyone says it's fantastic. So, I was happy to find this for five fifty. <clears throat> and then, I finally picked up Horrible Bosses. And this one was actually... I mean, they were all 2 for 11, but when it rang up, it was 4, like 450, and the guy just let me have it for that, so... Um... Oh, well, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. It's like 20-something... Blu-rays, which I almost never buy that many. Um, but yeah, let me show you my uh, slippity doo technique. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of it. Um, if you guys are ever like shy about it, which I feel like you can't pull it off like quickly, my technique may work for you. I usually go and I'll pick up two movies, and this is the one I got today. And I actually don't own Looper, but I almost. I'm starting to not see the slipcover, so I wanted to go ahead and grab it and then just pick up the movie whenever I find a good deal on it. Um, so I usually will pick up the movie that I want with the slipcover and then just usually something out of the 788 bin. And I'll just walk around with them like this and I'll act like I'm looking at them like on top of each other like this and just look at it and then just slide that sucker down. And then I'm out the door. Well, I usually, well, I'll put up the one, the the regular edition of Sleep Looper, and then just walk out with the uh, 788 movie in that slipcover. And I almost always try to find something that's like PG-13, and then I'll just go to the self-checkout, and that way you can just scan it and not have to worry about getting a age verification. But um, hopefully maybe that helps you guys out. I don't know if my technique works for everyone, but it's... I also have these like giant hands, which you've probably noticed in these videos, like how they just cover up. So that helps I, where I'm able to hold multiple Blu-rays at a time. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I uh, just wanted to say thanks again to uh, WrestleManiac1130.